NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. This program was provided through funding from Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. A special thanks to Cedars featuring Middle Eastern, Italian, and American cuisine. to this week in North County Baseball Beaver, Lawrence County League action. And, um, you know, let me say just a few words as they're into the playoffs. And uh, a, a little station like this, it's very difficult to try to carry everything. I think Ed Jordan, and I want to do that right off the bat, for providing us with a lot of input and help. I also want to thank Aaron, who um, Rooney, who contributed a lot of time to getting us on board and getting things well level. <laughs> and it, it took a lot of work here to pull off this this little thing. So um, we look forward to getting better as time goes on. That being said. Let's get to the baseball action. The month of July saw Castlewood top the Stallions 2-0. That was on the ninth of the month. And as we are in the closing days of this month, we're just going to give you a recap. The Broadhead Bombers beat Castlewood 4-3. And the Summertime Heroes topped the Stallions 7-1. And that was on July 10th. The Bombers then down downtown Jacks 2-1. And uh, on a game scene here on NCTV 45, the ones that we could carry without the rain delay and problems that existed. Later on in the month, when we got to the 18th, the Summertime Heroes topped the DB Movers 7-5. And... Uh, it was starting to think about and set up playoff time. Now, uh, the Summertime Heroes took a 14-2 pounding to the Downtown Jacks as Castlewood won their game 15-9, and that got us to the 20th of the month. I thought it was important to give you that upbringing and get you into the 20th as we close out. The last two weeks in this week in baseball, Beaver Lawrence County League action. Now we're going to take this break. We'll be right back. Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania features many amenities, lush fairways, and great greens, and many challenging shots. Your crowd will applaud. A short drive from Butler, Sharon, Pittsburgh, Elwood, and Youngstown. It's Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Hey, Angelo Parada here for Croakers, Kegs, and Corks. And if that's not a mouthful, nothing is. But when you need a mouthful of that special brew, it's Croakers, Kegs, and Corks. You know, nothing tastes better than when you make it yourself. And I do some of that brew myself quite often. I like doing it. It's a great hobby, and it's something you can do. Croker's Colt and Quartz Low Crate located right in Union Township. Give them a try. As we come up for this week in North County Baseball, we're bringing you what happened in the month of July and reminding you that those rain days threw us off at the end of June and then we were blitzed with so many activities. We hope to be able to bring you more baseball action next season. But that being said, on the 21st, Castlewood topped the Downtown Jacks 
Now, Castlewood went on to beat the Stallions. The very next day, 8-1, Castlewood seeming like they had quite a bit of power. Therefore, giving the regular season championship to the Broadhead Bombers, who finished 16-4. and The Summertime Heroes finishing 15-4. and Castlewood, 11-7. and and the DB Movers, 8 and 10. Eliminated from the playoffs were the Stallions and the Downtown Jacks. The Downtown Jacks should be commended as the youngest team in the league and really doing a good job and doing what they could. Now, uh, the Broadhead Bombers standing atop the league were the regular season champs. It set up the Summertime Heroes, Castlewood, and the DP Movers to be in second, third, and fourth, respectively. Now, uh, that could only mean one thing, and that's playoff time. And the playoffs began on the 23rd. Now, uh, unfortunately, due to other commitments, we were not able to get to some of these games, and um, but we could give you the rundown thanks to Ed Uren. The Castlewood topped the DB Movers 3-2 on the 24th. Now, the playoff schedule looked like this. 26 saw the DB Movers taking on the Broadhead Bombers of Barry Brady's run. The 27th, the Bombers would take on the DB Movers at Brady's run, alternating who was the home team. As we got to the Castlewood and Summertime Heroes, they were playing at Flaherty Field on the 27th. And on the 28th, the Summertime Heroes versus Castlewood at Flaherty Field at 2 p.m. Sunday's action, the DB Movers were taking on the Broadhead Bombers at Brady's Run, while Castlewood took on the Broadhead Bombers at Flaherty, and that has to be a misprint because that will be have the Broadhead Bombers playing two games in one day. <laughs> so, uh, now, further action, now, and this depends on the weather and field conditions. The Broadhead Bombers were supposed to take on the DB Movers at Brady's Run tonight, and the Summertime Heroes take on Castlewood tonight at Flaherty. Uh, this is all pending rain uh, and field conditions. Tuesday's game just saying more than likely could get rained out. DB Movers at the Broadhead Bombers and Castlewood at the Summertime Heroes. Now we do have some preliminary results from that and we're going to give you those playoff results after we come back after this pitching change. This program furnished by the MAD Unit Mobile Auto Detailing C. Michael Sad at the madunit.com These fine businesses provided funding for this program. Gatherings, Town and Country, and On Target. Great dining experience. Oh. Welcome back. The Broadhead Bombers and the DB Movers got together. Bobby S Suter throws a four hitter and drives in two runs for the Bombers. The Bombers 
won the game 5-zip, and the Bombers led the series 1-0. The DB Movers and the Broadhead Bombers got together the next day and found the DB Movers topping the Bombers 5-0 to tie the games at 1. While the Summertime Heroes topped Castlewood 6-5, the Heroes took a one-game lead. Now, playoff games that were set for uh, 2 p.m., which featured uh, the Summertime Heroes at Castlewood, turned out in this fashion. The Summertime Heroes, uh, and let me uh, adjust this, Kevin Radcliffe pitched a complete game to victory to stake a two-game lead, okay, in that best of five series. It was the Summertime Heroes topping Castlewood 6-4. Castlewood threatened in the last uh, inning, putting uh, the tying run on second base before Radcliffe uh, warmed and run Yeah winning run with a line uh, drive uh, to Homer in the center field. Uh, Vinny, and uh, I apologize, Howell collected a couple of uh, extra base hits as Castlewood, including, uh, excuse me, my glasses, I apologize, including an inside the park home run. Castlewood looks uh, to fight their way back into the game at 2 o'clock as they take on the Summertime Heroes at Flaherty Field. Now, um, that was the action in Game 1. And then Game 2, uh, as we were speaking, put Castlewood winning 4-3. Castlewood kept their hopes alive behind the stellar pitching of uh, Scott uh, Hercheck, who threw a complete game victory. Mark, and, and I apologize as the lights are hot here, <laughs> Mark Gozart uh, knocked in all three runs for the Heroes and Castlewood looks to uh, tie up the series. The Broadhead Bombers won nothing over the DB Movers in eight innings. Uh, saw Chantel pitch a complete uh, game shutout. Uh, Bobby Suter driving in the game-winning run. The Bombers lead the series 2-1 and the series continues at Brady's run with the best of them. Now, we're going to take a break. I'm going to get my glasses fixed, and we'll be back right after this. Parkstown Restaurant has been serving the greater Newcastle area with quality and experience in family dining and great entertainment. Their superb menu includes sides, wings, pizza, sandwiches, Italian entrees, American entrees, soups and salads. Parkstown Restaurant located at 2800 West State Street, Newcastle. Eat in or take out. Also, call Parkstown and ask about what's on tap for entertainment. 724-656-1453. 656-1453. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. Welcome back as uh, we take a look at those major league standings. Well, Boston 
having their way right now in the American League East as they lead the Yankees by five and a half games. Cleveland up nine games on the Twins. And Houston, they're running away from Seattle. They're up four games. Now, over in the National League East, Philadelphia's up a game and a half. While the Cubs are a game and a half over Milwaukee, and the Bucks find themselves seven games back. In the West, the Dodgers lead Arizona by a half game, and Colorado by a full game. Now, here's the thing about the major leagues. In the wild card chase, the Yankees are five and a half games up, tied with Seattle, and Oakland and the LA Angels find themselves two and nine games back, respectively. Over in the National League, you have Arizona and Milwaukee sitting at top the league uh, with a half game back the Arizona Cardinals, a game and a half back the Braves, and those Buccos, they're four games back. Now, let's take a look at those season-ending final standings in North County Baseball and uh, see what everything holds. Well, that's going to do it here for this week in North County Baseball. Hope you enjoy the playoff activity. Hopefully, we'll get out to a few more games, weather depending, and prior commitments. As uh, I thank you for tuning in to NCTV 45 and enjoying all the events that we put on, which includes this week in North County Baseball, the Beaver Lawrence County League. Until next time, keep swinging, and uh, we hope to see you at the ballpark. A special thanks to the YMCA for caring about the Lawrence County community and providing funding for this program.